know much about you, but I know that you and I share something in common. We both breathe air. In fact, all animals need oxygen. Well, except for one. This cool paper is about the first animal ever shown to not even have the cellular machinery to use oxygen. The reason you breathe air is because your mitochondria need oxygen. Mitochondria are cellular organelles that convert food energy into energy in ATP. When I'm walking, my muscles and my legs are using the energy in ATP to contract. And in order to produce ATP, mitochondria need oxygen. The scientists who published this cool paper weren't trying to study mitochondria. They were studying something else really cool, cnidarians. That's cnidarian with a C. Cnidarians are animals, and you may know some of the familiar ones, like corals, jellyfish, and sea anemones. But the type of cnidarian that these researchers were studying is a tiny parasite that infects aquatic worms and fish. And in order to understand them better, the researchers took two parasitic cnidarians that infect salmon, and they sequenced their genomes. And they found something really interesting. One of the species seemed to be missing many of the genes involved in making mitochondria work. I can only imagine what it was like the first time they discovered that. They were like, hey, I thought animals needed mitochondria. Yeah, I thought so too. Hmm. The first time a genome gets sequenced, mistakes can happen, and sometimes genes just don't get sequenced. And the scientists were worried that that's why those mitochondrial genes were missing from that species. But two clues suggested that it wasn't just an artifact. Most of your DNA is in the cell nucleus, but it turns out that mitochondria carry a little bit of their own DNA too. You can actually see mitochondrial DNA by staining with a fluorescent dye that binds to DNA. And when the scientists looked at the parasite cells, they saw DNA in its nucleus, but they didn't see any DNA in any mitochondria, suggesting that those missing genes really weren't there. The scientists found some mitochondrial genes in the nuclear DNA sequence, but one of those genes, one that's really important for how mitochondria work, had so many mutations in it that their scientists knew it would be broken. It's like if I looked in your car and saw that your steering wheel was broken, then I'd know that you never actually drive your car. Because that gene was broken, the scientists know that the parasite doesn't actually use mitochondria to harvest energy using oxygen. And this is the first time that any animal has ever been shown not to have mitochondrial DNA and not to have the machinery to use oxygen to harvest energy. Which leads to the next question. Does the parasite really not need oxygen? How does it harvest energy? To answer that question, we'll have to wait for the next round of scientists to do experiments. <laughs>